Hi there. This is a uh, APC Smart UPS RT3000 with additional batteries, which I use to uh, as a backup, first level backup for uh, my equipment in my house. It can deliver 3000 watts of 3000 VA, it's about uh, 2500 watts. And the basic base unit can deliver it uh, the maximum power for a maximum uh, 50 minutes and the load I have here in my house is um, about uh, a kilowatt so it, according to the specs the device itself can deliver it for one hour but I also have additional battery packs and in total it can sustain the power here for three to six hours. Just in case there is a really large power failure I also have a generator which runs on gasoline and okay the power from it is not really stable but using the uh, RT3000 it stabilizes. The advantages of the 3000 is the it also stabilizes the input voltage. I have placed the uh, UPS on top at the ceiling and so the whole problem is that the batteries are dead they need to be replaced and I will demonstrate this in the video. So This is the additional battery pack this still contains the uh, old uh, batteries. Uh, in total there are 48 batteries in the UPS and 16 in the base unit and 32 in this additional battery pack. This is the uh, base unit. As I said before I already replaced the batteries and it turned out that the voltage of the old batteries was uh, zero volts. They were a short circuit. The base unit itself is quite dusty so the next thing I will do is to clean the dust from the inside of the UPS base unit. Turns out the internals are quite dust free, so it doesn't need that much cleaning. There's some dust here at the high voltage part, and the inlets and outlets are quite dusty. So, that's the only thing I will. Uh, I think it will be sufficient just to blow the uh, dust out of the internals using a high uh, air compressor.
The dust is a bit uh, uh, dirty. It will not go off using a air compressor, so I'm going to use uh, some cleaning stuff to clean up. Here's some basic cleaner. Yes. Wash it off. Because I have the UPS in my kitchen, it gets a bit fatty. Unfortunately, it's the only place I can have this device and still get some nightly sleep because it makes a lot of noise. Should be it. Now I'm gonna put back together main unit, base unit. It e <coughs> Battery is about 20 kilos, and that's of course a nice thought. How am I ever gonna get 150 kilos in total? On top of that cupboard in my kitchen. That is something I'm gonna demonstrate. Place the batteries of the extended unit. Well, first of all, how to get 150 kilos on top of that cover? Now, each battery is uh, 20 kilos, and the units themselves are also a bit. 20 kilos. So the trick is to get each battery out each by each. So first you have to remove that thing over there. Let's do that. Know what to do. I 
again. Next that thing. That's one little piggy. In these boxes there are the new batteries and I've been uh, searching the internet for a while because one set of 16 batteries if you just try to find it on the internet most of the companies ask f over 400 euros for one and I found a company which uh, sell them for 200 euros per unit because I need three of those it's quite an advantage to sell them half the price I first bought only a tech a set of batteries for the base unit to try them out, whether they are correct and it turned out these are the original APC batteries all the same which were in the unit already at least I bought the unit RT3000 second hand so I don't know exactly whether these are really the originals but as far as I can as far as I looked on the internet, these are the originals. Uh, I can't see anything like this. And there's a code on it. And uh, turns out it's the date. So these are from September 15th of September 2016. Or the other way around, 16 September of. 2015. I will know for sure if I take the batteries out of the unit, the original unit. They are almost 8 to 10 years old. So. It was no wonder that they were failing. crow is looking at me what I'm not doing. Hi Kabaddi. Hi hi.
Let's find the screwdriver. We have a screwdriver. So don't forget us that there are. Two screws at the opposite side of the connector, and if you remove them, shift, slide the top side opposite of the screws towards the connector, and then you can remove it. If it's nice to me. Yes, look at boy. Isolators on top of the connectors. Next thing is to remove those connectors. And the problem is that they have a hook. And last time I removed them, I, most of the connectors were also removed. So let's find. Another way to remove them. Oh. Don't be afraid, it's still me. Um, well, I think I found a way. These batteries are wasted anyway, so if I bend it, it bends across the hole in which the uh, lock it uh, has a grip and it will loosen up and then I will can remove the connector without damaging the, uh, the blockage, the, the whatever it's called in English. Um, okay. Another thing is interesting is that it's very clear the batteries are dead. Actually they are molten. Yes, so it's time to remove them. And this works perfectly. No, it doesn't work. Yes, it works perfectly. Okay then. Yes. I'm a genius. Okay. Perfect. as a one separator these have to be replaced placed back you can use them again it's no problem also the wires if we do it like this so bend it then it will bend across the hole releasing the blockage like this. This is molten. Plastic has molten. Yes, 
a fuse between two batteries. This has to be kept intact. So hopefully it will help. And that's it. escapes from the batteries. So yep. I clearly traces of acid inside. So again, don't pull the connectors from their batteries by force. There is a small piece of metal inside which has its which fits into the hole of the battery on the connector on the battery on the, on the terminal on the, of the battery and if you just pull them off there you will pull connector apart, so keep this in mind. And then you, have a, you need a lot more time to replace the batteries because you have to get the insides back together with the pliers. So, just curious about the batteries. So, let's see. they are hmm. yeah you almost would believe that the multimeter is broken but I think it's pretty much truth that the batteries are dead. Uh, pretty much really dead. Oh, this one has 0 0.3 volts. Yes, worthless. So, these. Wasted. And these are the new guys. We need eight of these for one such a unit, a three unit. It's a lot of energy, so 32 of these batteries are in the extended unit, a uh, total of 192 volts. You can, you feel that, I mean, it's proven that even if it's this direct current, well, direct current you feel from starting from 110 volts, so 192 volts you would X. You will feel it for sure. Let's 
take this one. The dates, the dates are very interesting. So these are not the same type which were in the in the UPS. These are the old, these are the new ones. And there's no date on these, so this is strange because the base unit, the air batteries were the same as these, and they had a date about yeah. 2005, 2006. But these don't have a date, unfortunately. Pity. Well, the date on the unit itself says 2010. So probably this, these batteries are replaced in 2010. But still, that's six years ago. It's no wonder they are gone. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Forget plastic pieces and connect this one back and this one back and this one back. The fuse goes here. And I forgot the plastic piece. battery. Okay. There's more space between the batteries because this wire which will fit in here. Uh, and again. And again. If you Watch on internet the replacement procedures on YouTube. The most of them just replace the whole unit. Well, this is not really an achievement. I mean, my grandmother can do that. Um, this looks a bit more difficult, but replacing the batteries themselves are quite easy. The most important thing is that you have to remember to remove these clips. You need to bend the old connectors. Otherwise, you will damage the uh, connectors. Terminals, connectors. Yes. There are grooves in the top side. 
the cabling should go through those grooves. Also the grey cable, remember that it should be on top of the connectors. Because if you place it here, it will be impossible to close the cover. And place back the isolators. And replace the cover. Start. Yes. Let's check the voltage. Six, eight times. Batteries are fully loaded, loaded, so this is 100 volts. So technically, if I would touch this, I should not be able to feel it without 110 volts. But it's not possible to touch it. Sorry. No. Okay. Well, I will spare you the other batteries. This one's fixed up to the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. There are four of these battery packs in an extended uh, battery unit. I'm finished replacing all the battery packs. So these are the battery packs with the replaced batteries and all these batteries are the old batteries. I didn't even do some effort to measure the voltage because it's very clear as something wrong is with these the battery packs were already in a state of uh, malfunction a month for months before I disconnected the UPS because the UPS is connected to all my equipment and I takes a lot of it takes me 20 minutes to uh, take down the equipment and also 20 minutes to start up everything if everything went well so that's why I kept the uh, UPS in service longer than actually was healthy for the batteries but actually the batteries were already dead so no problem. Next thing is to place the extended unit and the base unit on top of this cupboard. In total it's 150 kilos and uh, each battery pack weighs 20 kilos. So in parts it's possible, in total it's not possible and it is a very very strong cupboard. It can take the UPS easily. It has been here for three years now so no problem. Let's do it. You probably think how to dispose of all these batteries. 
Well, I have the advantage that I live in a neighborhood where some people drive around in their cars collecting all kinds of old metals and also that. So all I have to do is place it in front of my house and within a few hours everything's just gone. So, let's get 150 kilos up there. Let's start with the battery pack, with the extended battery pack unit device. It's one of these units is 20 kilos. I don't need boot camp, the boot camp training tonight. No. This is my training tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, it's the beige unit. Yep. 
Okay. And that reads for the base unit. You know what the funny thing was? The battery was dead. Yeah, well, now we do it again. So, one battery. I meant the battery of the camera, by the way, not the battery of the UPS, because they are full now. You know, another funny thing is the ninja. Ninja move. I'll see if we're over here. Okay. Ninja. And I don't see myself. Nope. I want to see myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ninja. 